but now your own personal opinion how do you think people lose this weight i know there are like multiple ways to do this you know there's calorie deficit calorie yeah first you need to understand what the trigger is what's causing the weight gain yeah, that's a problem. you need to know what the roots what the problem is what's actually the trigger for your weight gain you see sometimes you might be working with a female client and you might find out that she has this because stuff and it's um it kind of it's a kind of um issue that ladies get to gain more stomach fats and no matter what you do they keep increasing in body size she gets so now if you don't know that was the underlying issue you keep putting her on different workout mechanisms and you discover that she's still adding up weight regardless of whatever you so first you need to know the root you need to tackle your problem from its roots okay what have you been doing lately have you been um eating excessively have you been resting have you been are you depressed um do you have any underlying health issue that might lead to you to weight gain or for the past two three months what changes have you realized in your body what has changed in your routine did you just armor and you feel okay well, i don't make money in a mouth exactly you get that so you need to understand okay assess the client examine them and know okay fine for you as a person you can actually just sit yourself down and ask yourself what have i been doing and i've not been doing that led me to this okay probably i used to be very active and all of a sudden i started working from home then you notice that okay fine it's because of less activity like i've not been very very active in activities or or you reach that pinnacle of fitness and you just stop everything um well there's always a treasure in fitness like a treasure like when you get to and you feel your body might fight that level and it might not go beyond that level so it might not be that pinnacle it might just be a change in one or two lifestyle so you need to understand okay this is the cause this is what led to this this is why i have this scenario so you don't start tackling it if your if your case is you've not been sleeping well you can start with sleeping well then include a physical activities to it you can include maybe um thank you walk every day or non-exercise activities right. like professional advice because you know there are many cases for being overweight you know yeah. that's genetic and all of these factors that i've mentioned but for the average person it boils down to calorie in calorie out but it, yeah. it boils down to you know excess fats and excess calories in your body and your body just storing them and that that's when it has to do with people that um how would i put it people that have been um like they've been eating and people that are uh, actually having this issue of eating more than or burning less than they they consume that's those that majorly those that walk indoor that don't go out at all and they're always indoor and you know they keep eating you see i don't think we have majority of people in that group any longer because we are in the tipping era maybe you should speak for the nigerian scene <laughs> because life is ideal <laughs> you don't know, you know, you get fast for eating dairy you can't get definitely yes but you can talk about places like america you will have access to all these things yes. yeah you can actually get fat with that kind of scenario right. but looking at nigeria right now i don't think you can actually add on with i mean I just, cake used to be very affordable well now cake is expensive very expensive oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, one pop of is 100 naira now yes. i think oh. 150. yesterday i was i was um i was walking and i was passing through a store and this boy was ranting to his mom i think probably age four and was like mommy you're giving me 500 naira to school what can 500 naira buy and mom was like you buy egg and you buy water and i was like one egg is 500 naira now mommy and i was like wow one egg 500 naira okay I remember uh, uh, you go ball now. You go see if you carry 200 naira, just go dead. Guy, you will ball. You will, you notice like you feel half of your class. Three. You, you feel half of your class. Like, like just... you tell them buy rice, buy rice, buy rice, buy rice, buy rice, buy rice, buy rice. But now 500 naira is crazy. Yeah. And he's, he's saying the right thing because if you want to even buy one bottle of Coke, it's 450. You can't even buy. There's no biscuit of 15 naira. So to get fat in it, yeah, it's even like 
it's even hard to be fat in Nigeria now. Like really? even if you are fat now, you should you should be investigating you. Like <laughs> why are you what fat? Waiting the chop. Waiting the chop. What is your account like? Why are you fat? Cause it's crazy. <laughs> why are you fat? <laughs> why are you fat? So basically, yeah. If we are going by calorie in, calorie out, I I feel first um, you need to, be, to definitely be on a calorie deficit. And the very good way of being on the calorie deficit is like you staying on um, removing 500 calories from your daily consumption. 